What is up you guys? Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 19 or nice to meet you. If you're new, before we get into today's vlog, make sure you subscribe down below and hit the bell so you don't miss out on the Vlogmas fun. Definitely food on my lip. So we have an exciting day today. We only have one thing like actually planned. But from the sounds of it, it's gonna be like an adventure day. So I'm excited. We are headed to pick up my grandma and we are going to painting with a twist for like a Christmas themed thing painting which it's super funny because I love painting it's a huge stress reliever for me but I suck at it so the fact that I'm gonna be like expected to make this like magical painting from scratch it shall be very fun fun time but like I said we're headed to pick up my grandma and I will probably update you guys once we get to painting with a twist So we just got done with painting with a twist. We are headed to Chick-fil-A now. My mom placed a, what's my call order? Carry out order on the app. And I had no idea they had spicy chicken tenders. So we're gonna have to do a taste test for the vlog today because I am so excited. I love their spicy chicken sandwich. So that and chick tender, I can't talk. I can't tell I need food. Tender form is going to be super yummy. And I got mac and cheese and fries so we're really loading it on today all right we're going to try the chicken tenders so i'm assuming these are the yes so this is what they look like yummy chicken tenders and i like chick-fil-a sauce okay taste test for real using some chick-fil-a sauce to help with the spice because although i like spicy you can't always of almonds, but only one salad. Mm. That is good. It tastes exactly like the spicy chicken sandwich, just without the bread. Yeah. 
show it to my grandma off. <laughs> my mom had to take the Chick-fil-A to the dumpster. Show them what you did. <laughs> she literally held her breath. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay, but we are on the way home. We're gonna stop by the post office. So if my mom has any Christmas packages she needs to grab, she can go ahead and pick them up. And then I think we're gonna head home. I'm feeling a little, like the makeup is feeling heavy today. So I think I'm gonna wash off my makeup, do a face mask, um, and then I don't know what the rest of the day has in store. I'm feeling like a productive vibe. Now I got some food in me. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to tackle some activities that need to get done. And yeah, we shall see. How did you like painting with a twist, Mom? I don't really, I didn't really like blog blog during the experience. I know, I was kind of expecting you to. I just didn't want to interrupt our, our teacher because she was very our talkative, artist. which was very good. Very good. I rate her 10 out of 10. Yeah. But she was good. She was very good. I need to make sure her tip went through because that was bad. Okay, but what, what is your so review, opinion? My review is I think it's great if you are not artsy and you sorry I'm trying to turn but yeah. if you aren't artsy and you just want something fun to do as long as you don't give yourself this like high expectation that it's got to okay, be perfect then you can just have fun with it and that's what it's all about spending time with friends or family and laughing at yourself every day so yeah, I basically did the thing that she said not to do and I went into it with like super heavy expectations on myself for whatever reason, I couldn't tell you why. Also look, there's paint all over me. All over me too. Okay. Um, but I got so frustrated by the end, I wasn't even enjoying myself anymore because I hated the way my painting turned out and I was so agitated that it did not look like the example. But I'm still super proud of it. I did something out of my comfort zone and I truly did have a lot of fun. So definitely would rate it a 10 out of 10 and I can't wait till I'm 21 and I can do it with some wine because then I won't give a crap what it looks like. So only two, two more years, three, two years? How old am I? 19, uh, year two half. years, year and a half. So we just got home. I did a quick change. We both did into some comfier clothes. We both want to take a nap. We both want to take a nap, but it is 3.50 in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And if we take a nap this late, we won't sleep good. So mm -hmm. we're going to go for a quick like 15, 20 minute walk. I don't think I'm going to do a full 30. But we're gonna get some movement in, get some steps in. I'm gonna come home and edit a video, get some business work done. And then I think we are going to start dinner tonight, which I'm super excited because it's my favorite meal in the whole wide world that my mom makes. It's a passionate penny pincher recipe, um, which is like, I think the title of it is like bacon cheeseburger pasta. And it is so good. So maybe we can talk you guys through how to make it for today's vlog, but. I am excited and obviously, you know, not super excited to get this movement in, but I know I will feel so much better after I do. All right, we just got back from our walk. I fixed English myself an energy stick and I told you guys I would share the recipe with you. So the ingredients are one pound of extra lean ground beef or ground turkey, six slices of center cut bacon chopped, one medium red onion chopped, one and a half teaspoons of seasoned salt, 14.5 ounce can of diced tomatoes, one and a half cups of low sodium beef, beef broth, Woo! <laughs> three tablespoons of dill relish, eight ounces of cavatappi pasta, don't even know if that's how you say it, or macaroni, three-fourths cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, a half a cup of fat-free half and half, one-fourth cup of ketchup, two tablespoons of yellow mustard, and one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. So, worst, however the heck you say that word. Um, so those are the ingredients and this is the cute little recipe card. This is how all of the passionate penny pincher recipes come. This is not sponsored. Totally wish it was though. And then for the directions, 
in a large deep skillet, add the chopped bacon, cook for a few minutes, then add the chopped red onion, cook until bacon is crisp and onion is soft. Then you're gonna add your ground beef and seasoned salt, continue to cook the bacon and onions until the meat is brown. Then you're gonna drain that. Third, you're gonna add your tomatoes, the beef broth, dill relish, one cup of water, and the pasta. You're gonna stir that and bring it to a boil, reduce the heat. Then cover and simmer for about 12 minutes until or until the pasta is cooked all the way. Stir in the mozzarella cheese, the half and half, ketchup, mustard, and the Worcestershire sauce. Cook over medium high heat, stirring constantly two to three minutes until sauce is thickened. Take off the heat and let stand a couple of minutes before serving to thicken up the sauce a bit more, salt and pepper to taste. And then lastly, you're just gonna sprinkle the extra cheese, pickles, onions, and bacon if desired. So I know that was a lot. That is the recipe. I am going to go wash my face and get ready. My mom and I are going to watch the local boat parade that they're doing on our lake. And then we're gonna come back and finalize dinner. She is starting it now, chopping up the bacon. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun time. We are here at the lake waiting for the boat parade. We just got all of our bug spray sprayed on. It is a beautiful night for a boat parade. It's not like a super in your face sunset, but it's still gorgeous. The parade is coming. Hopefully they'll 